Hey guys, my name is April and today I'm going to do a product review on my bows frames. And no, I'm not wearing them right now because I got to review them for you. However, um, I bought my bows frames, I'd say about a couple of months ago. And I, um, I've been in love with them ever since. However, there are some pros and cons to having these particular bows frames. Um, in your box, you know, standard box or whatever, you're going to have your, your warranty and your instructions on how to use or how to wear them. Um, inside of that will come with your your frame, I mean, your carrying case. It's a leather carrying case, it, you know, to protect the lens, make sure they're not all scratched up and things of that nature. Now, on the box, it clearly showed you that the um, the, the frames itself were sunglasses. However, I really don't really care for sunglasses like that a lot. So I turned my particular glasses into prescription glasses, and I will tell you now at the full disclaimer of this begin of this of the full disclaimer of this video. Please, if you are going to buy these frames and you're going to turn your frames into dang on um, regular prescription everyday use, know that you are voiding your warranty. Like you're simply voiding your warranty. There is nothing bows will do should they break, and I say that to say this. I did not pay attention. Oh, again, another disclaimer. If you're going to buy these glasses, note, they come in small and large frames. I did not pay attention, nor did I care for the size of the frame when I bought it, nor did the lady who sold me the glasses tell me about that. It took me actually waiting until I um, were actually about to do this review, and I actually noticed that those glasses were not what I needed or whatnot, which would ex explain my ear holders so they don't keep sliding off my face. Because like I said, once you void your warranty, Bose is not gonna fix them. And I can tell you right now, I have a crack right here in my glasses. Do you see that? That crack there? Because there's nothing there. Like there is absolutely nothing there. Now, in your case, before I start really, you know, talking about the, the glasses, will be a pouch. And in your pouch, there will be a, you know, a cable. You know, your basic charging cable that goes to your glasses. Now, mind you, they, they really just click in. That's about it. And you just... Plug them into your little cube or whatever, and there you are. It's not a very long charging cable. Um, I misplaced my charging cable once before, and um, I'm gonna be honest with you. You, it's not like you're gonna roll up into a bow store and for one of bows ain't like Walmart, Target, and wherever else you shop. You're not rolling up to a bow store. I literally could not wait. I didn't order them. I went directly to the Denver airport. I literally went through security to get these freaking glasses because they're in a concourse and they're not like just out all willy nilly like the restaurants and shop bookshops when you're, you know, going through TSA or after getting your ticket, you got a couple of, you got time to waste. I literally went through TSA and it was the, it was hilarious because they were just like, well, do you have a reason to be getting into the airport? Yes, ma'am. My freaking glasses. However, I will say that um, in the midst of having my glasses, I, I love them. Let's get to these glasses, shall we? Your, like I said before, your charger port is here. Your button is right underneath it. Your speakers are here and here. Make sure I can still show that for you. Yeah, they're here, here, and here. Now, even with all of that going on, once you put your glasses on, they're right above your ear and right into it. Like you're gonna hear 
flawlessly. I'm not, the it's bold. So the quality is going to be amazing. My only issue is your battery power. Depending on how you how you wear your glasses, what you're using them for, if you're listening continuously to music and things of that nature, they're not going to last very long. I mean, if you're answering your phone call, like I said, they're Bluetooth um, operated, so they will sync to your phone. They'll sync to your iPad. Um, another cool feature with these particular glasses is my phone and my iPad both have my Roku app on there. And you know, you can press a button to hear your Roku come through your phone if you're using your phone as a remote or if you just don't want nobody else to hear it. My Roku sends everything directly to my ears. So if I'm in the room and my kids, and they're not babies, but you know, they're, they're teenagers and they're having conversations on their phones and they're talking to each other or they're just playing and being, you know, on 10 versus being on three for me i can decide okay i can sit in this room with you and i don't have to hear what it is you're doing i can literally put my tv in my ears i can put the music in my ears no one else has to hear what it is that i'm listening to and i promise you i've been plenty of places and no one has heard a dang thing that i've listened to um i bought these glasses solely with the purpose of being sneaky i'm in the military and you can't wear ear pods and you know earbuds or air pods my apologies and earbuds you know all in uniform like it's just not something you're you're going to do you can't walk and talk on your phone although they say it's in regulation there is no regulation boo so i bought these glasses simply to say stick it to the man i can walk and talk Nobody know, like, I just look stupid. And I'm comfortable with looking stupid. Hell, sometimes I am. I can walk and talk in uniform during PT. If I'm working out and I'm one, two, three, I don't want to hear that cadence. I can bounce to it. Hey, I can vibe to it. I can really actually focus in my workout with PT in the morning or whenever I have to do it. Um... Your phone, your, your phone, my apologies. Your glasses is going to come equipped with an app. And the app is, it's, I ain't gonna lie, it's dope as fuck. Oh, my language, I apologize. But it's dope. Um, you sync your glasses. And again, you press the button. And it just connects. Now, granted, for every use of this particular um, app, I cannot use everything. So this app is on here for the video, but it's also on my phone. On this app on my phone, there are buttons for radio stations. The radio stations are generally located for wherever you are. I live in Denver and I can hear all of Denver's radio stations, but you know, I'm, I'm from the South, baby. I'm from Alabama, lived in, you know, Georgia. And if I want to listen to a station back home, I'm going to do that because I can. It's synced up into TuneIn Radio. I think that's the app name. But it has radio stations for wherever you want to be. So I love that about it. If I don't want to listen to, you know, my title subscription, my Spotify, my Apple Music, or whatever subscription I have, I can decide, okay, well, Bose provides music for me. So I love that about itself. And even then, if you decide you want more than what the stations that Bose has, you can download the TuneIn radio app for yourself. And there's a plethora of different genres of music, podcasts, comedy shows, whatever you're into. Hell, I even have your books read to you. Um, in your app, your battery power is going to be here. Here is the fact that you're connected, and this here is your AR. Now, let's talk about AR. Oh my god, my eye is bothering me. Your AR app literally lets you walk around and not hear everyday life 
but it creates everyday life in other places. Now, I have the Walk app, I have the Radar app, and I have the Pair with Bows app. If you want to be in the gym, there's the Pair. Now, Bose Pair is basically saying you're in the gym. It creates workout playlists. It helps you like, I guess a trainer would help you. Like if you're on a piece of equipment and you want to, you know, you want to use it effectively, but you don't want to pay for a trainer. It gives you, hey, you have this amount of reps. All right, bend lower, keep your back up. You know, it helps you with all the things that a normal trainer would do if you were there. So I, I personally love the, the, the Bose Pair app. Um, they also have like another app called Golf Shot. But that's really just for you being on a golf course and you not really having your, you know, your shotting or whatever you guys call it. Just It's, it's like a virtual caddy, so to speak. It's going to help you with that. Now, for entertainment, my radar app. When I say I love my radar app, my radar app, what it does, and I'm going to go into the app right now for you guys. It, um, I'm able to sit here in Denver, but literally be on the beach in Colorado, well, in California. So this is what it tells you. tells you to turn your head now I'm going to turn my head and you can hear the helicopters here but on my side over here you hear the wind blowing you know Seagulls, you know, no longer hear the helicopter, just seagulls. But as I move my head back and forth, if I turn all the way here, I hear kids playing in the background. Like I hear them like building sandcastles so to speak it creates this vibe or this alternate universe to where you hear a lot of different things at one time but you you don't see them you're just sitting around and you know hey i hear the beach i hear this that. now it does this with music as well um it puts you in a in a song and while you're in the song, you hear, you know, your wind instruments, you hear your string, you hear your, your, your drums, and it's all while you're looking at different places. Like, Like, I hear a lot of different instruments as the song goes. So, like I said, it's, it's quite, quite phenomenal. Like, I can hear the plucking. And I hear her singing over here. So I, I actually love my, my AR apps. So um, imagine listening to 2 Chains and hearing, hearing you know, him light up a blunt. I, excuse me, because I'm hood. <laughs> you hear him light his blunt and you hear him like grab the microphone and then you hear him start his flow. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Bo's over, you know, they have blown my little head away with the radar app um they have this app called walk 
app is the walk app is basically a gps app um like literally there is a walgreens and a 7-eleven at the very end of my street say that i'm just you know in the neighborhood and i'm walking to the store because you know i'm, I'm chunky i want my flaming hot cheetos and i get to the um right before i get to the end of sheridan boulevard Mind you, I don't have my phone in my pocket. I mean, my hand. I'm not staring down, you know, trying to walk and talk and whatnot. My glasses will just, in 20 feet, there's going to be a Walgreens. I need you to make a right. It lets you see the landmark and gives you the direction. So you will literally, it helps as far as driving. Not going to lie to you. Um, it is amazing as far as driving because if you're driving and you have the you know your app on it's basically directions with visual cues you're going to be able to to be driving and instead of in 200 feet you need to turn left it's a you got a walgreens coming up bust this right real quick and it don't say it like that but that's how it comes off to me because i don't have to literally look down at my phone and okay i gotta turn here and you know even with the apple watch it'll you know it'll pulsate your arm when you're supposed to turn and even then you gotta look but your glasses is telling you okay now you can turn left when you see this walgreens and it gives you directions how a normal person would because a lot of people are not good with directions they would take when well, you don't you don't take like 300 kilometers up to your left and no hey bust this turn up here it is walgreens You'll be at your 7-Eleven in 0.2 seconds. So, I mean, your AR with these particular glasses and the functionality of it all is, is A1. I'm not going to lie. AirPods ain't never looked and said, hey, you got, you. where are you trying to go? You, okay, well, if you see, when you see this particular sign, I need you to turn. Well, AirPods not going to say that. AirPod ain't even going to give you that functionality. Now, you may be able to download the, the Walk app with those AirPods. However, seeing is believing. Now, with my app, I'm able to do a lot of things. Um, I have an auto timer. If I have my phone and everything is connected to my, my apps um, and I'm not listening to anything after five minutes, my glasses shut off to, you know, to save my battery. It's voice prompted. So if I'm, you know, if I, I don't want to grab my phone, I can just say, call so-and-so. Can't put a name on it right now because it will stop my video and call so-and-so. Um, it, if I don't want, you know, like I said, my house is very smart, dumb. I'm trying to connect all of my devices. Like I have hue lights. If I want to be in one room, hey, turn the bathroom light on. The bathroom light's going to be turned on because voice prompts. Um, I will note, like I said before, your glasses can only be connected to one device at a time. I cannot have my glasses connected to my phone, my iPad, to my daughter and my son's iPad, just in case it's something they want to do. Um, however, with your apps that you have on your device, it works the same way. Like I said, it's Bluetooth. So with my Roku app, you know, you have a button where you could play things straight directly to your phone. Or if you bought the remote where you have to add the um, earplugs into it. Well, I just tap it onto my phone and Bluetooth right to my glasses. I don't have to hear my kids playing all day long. Or I don't have to hear you know, the TV up loud. I can turn the TV down to a very nice volume and decide that that's what I want to listen to at the rate that I want to listen to it. Now, it gives you, you know, just like any other name for your, your glasses, you can name them. Like, my name is Booby, so my glasses is called Booby Shade. <laughs> now, every time your glasses sinks, it they will stay here. Should you ever lose... I mean, it's just like AirPod, Apple products. You know, you got your find my eye, whatever. You can find your buds. Like, that's that's pretty dope to me. You can find your buds. Nothing here can be lost. You simply find them wherever they are. 
in the range that they're in and you can have them make a noise and i have mine turned on like at all times i want to know hey i lost where my glasses at Bing. okay get your glasses so um you can you know connect and have access to location and all of that to Suri, all of that it's 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 amazing, not gonna lie. Now, the music part of it all. All right. Once you turn your glasses down, <laughs> prime example, what I love about my glasses. You will save your battery if you don't know what you're doing. Every time you turn your your glasses on, once you turn your glasses on and you turn them off, like, it turns off. It's going to blink once, once you turn it off or whatever. Now, I'm going to turn my glasses back on and I'm going to literally put my glasses here now it's pretty loud I'm the only one in my house right now now when you put these on it sounds like I'm yelling because I am that's like that. Bessie for real. Now, no one can hear unless they're up on me. Now, like I said, I love, I love my, my glasses. Let's get to these pros and cons. Let me just go out on a limb and tell you, for one, I don't like the fact that if you buy these glasses and you decide that you want, you don't want sunglasses and you want everyday prescription wear, um, you're going to void your warranty. Like I said before, I my glasses, I did not pay a lot, attention to a lot of things. I did not care for product reviews or anything of that nature. What I did do was I just went off on a whim and bought them because it, glasses, speakers, I got to have them. I had to put my ear catchers on because you see how they slide. I don't care how big they are. I don't care how, I, I'm a be a nerd. However, um, they've slid off my face so many times. And I, I'm being a chef, I work in the kitchen a lot. So this is phenomenal. Military, phenomenal. Bus driving, phenomenal. Um, however, working in the kitchen and always looking down, you know, at your food and making sure that you have the right measurements and things of that nature. I, um, they fell quite a few times. So it took me 50 little times before I was like, okay, let me find something to make sure they stay on my face. And even then, you know, I, I adjust them a lot more than I should. Um, but I, had I paid attention, baby, they come in small and large frames. I wish I had known about that prior to that. And I'm not even gonna lie to you. I did not realize that they came in a smaller or a larger frame until 
today when I looked at the box. I never paid any attention to that. I will tell you that the style that I did get was the Alto. The Rondo is a bit rounder and I've always had kind of square type glasses. I didn't really, I didn't really think about how they would look on me, but I mean, there's always, always a chance for growth and purchasing another pair. Um, gripe number two, complaint number two, or should I say, your, your cable, your charging cable. I've misplaced my charging cable maybe one, one or two times. And my issue with that is always going to be, it's so freaking small. It's not like your, your lightning cable, you know how you can plug it in and you walk away, you forget it, or you go buy another one, or you can get a battery case that's literally a phone case. It's not like you have another cable or you get a longer cable. Um, it's not like you're going to roll up on a Bose and be like, hey, um, I need a new cable. First off, I had to literally go to the Denver airport to get my glasses. I did not order them. I did not wait because I'm impatient. Went through security and got my glasses. Bam, boom. All right, cool. No warranty. I didn't care. I'm going directly to Lens Crackers. I want to see everything. Should you lose this? This little small cable. You see how small it is. It's very small. Very small. This is it. You lose this, you're, you're done for. Like I said, it comes in a pouch and I keep my lightning cable for my phone and my dongle for my phone. Just in case somebody else don't got hearing capabilities. Um, but I would prefer to have a longer cord being as though if I decide I want to leave this cord at the house and I want to just put charge it up on when I feel like it, I want to be able to do that. And if I look up the website, I don't think I'm just going to be able to, and I haven't tried, um, to be honest with you, um, I, well, I did. I tried looking before when I lost it. I lost my, um my cable once before I tried looking it up and it wasn't like I was just going to be able to just order a Bose frame charger cable. So even if I did, um, I'm pretty sure that that amount would be stupid because you're not, it's not something you can easily do. And see, and even then, the, the Bose charging cables are not for your glasses. Like, I'm looking them up as we speak. Well, they don't have it. Like I said, um, yeah, they don't have it. It's not like you're going to just buy another frame it's not baby it's not gonna happen um when the when when that ha I, it, that bothers me i worry a lot about that because if i lose my like i will literally go all day with the dead you know glasses just so that i'm using my glasses to see um i'm not taking a chance on losing my cord I, if bows if could take anything from my product review i would hope that they would understand that it's an amazing product however being able to buy a charging cable anywhere would be a a step further in the game um as i've stated before it only comes in black i i get it it's a sunglass frame i get it but in the midst of all of that, you only have wires up here and over here. There is a nothing under here. So I don't see why we couldn't get a smaller, you know, 
type of a frame. However, I have these, I have the Alto, but this is the Rondo and it's, it's smaller, it's more rounder. Now, if they were to come out with different varieties as far as fashion and styles and, and color, and I'd be on it. Like if you come out with a red, smaller, baby, it's I'm in there like swimwear. Wouldn't be able to tell me no. Um, the apps that you're able to do, is, I'm not ever gonna complain about the apps because if I don't wanna use my own music, they provide me with an app. If I want to literally leave where I am and get my mind back into this place of centered, you know, loving, you know, meanness. Yes, meanness is a word. <laughs> it's a me word. I can do that. I'll never complain about the functionality of the glasses and the apps that come with it. However, I will complain about your battery life. If I like to listen to music, baby, I'm, my a day for me starts at about four. So I'm listening to music, or I'm on the phone, or and that's four a.m. By six a.m., it's time to charge my glasses. Battery life is it's horrible. However, you pay for what you get for it. I get it. It's small. The battery's not gonna last all day long. But even with Apple. Apple has keychains for your watch. You can take this little, and it looks more like a, just like another, another added keychain. You can set your watch on the bottom of it. And it's literally a charger for your watch or your keychain. If there was a, like a keychain or something of that effect, even if you could just put that on your, put your glasses on that, or you could, I don't want to plug up every freaking time like i literally go around not being able to hear and i don't like it um outside of that like i said the ar apps being in two two different places at one time flawless hearing the music the the quality the sound quality is a one but then again it's bose i'm they were not going to you know to slack in that department like I said, I'm still looking for being able to charge my cable. And it's not something that you're just going to do. You're not getting... You're not getting... charger cable. It's just not going to happen. You got to suck that shit up, bro. Um, I, though, I will tell you that should you um, decide that you want to um, you want to try these frames out, you can do it for 30 days. And if you don't like them, you can always, you know, send it back. Um, there is no I'm looking online, and even if there was a cable, it ain't gonna be cheap. Yeah, they don't. It's not something you can just buy. You lose that cord and you're screwed. So, Yeah, you're screwed. Um, outside of that, I don't really have a lot of complaints. Um, if they were to, to give you more options as far as style and color and fashion and things of that, it'd be dope. If there were a better charger cable or a longer charger cable or being able to buy one should you misplace, lose, or have it stolen, this would be no issue. Uh, 
if you were able to still keep your warranty when you turn them into prescription everyday use glasses it's that would be amazing too outside of that there is there's not a lot that i have problems with um several apps and i'm able to go where i want to go i don't have anyone tapping me to say hey you know because they see my airpod or my earbud i literally am able to to walk around with no one thing you know and the no one sees this in your ear until they're up on you. It just looks like, oh, she retarded. She got a lot going on up there. Okay. But I don't hear you saying this, and I, I'm i going about my day. So, personally, personally, I, um, I prefer these glasses. If I could help anyone in a decision-making process when it comes to their Bose frames, I would honestly say, go for it. You will be a lot happier. Um, and again, if you don't like it, you can always return them in 30 days. Um, just don't turn them into sunglasses and you'll be fine. I mean, if the optometrist breaks them in the process of you having, you know, whatever lens you need put into them, I promise you, Bose is not going to fix them. So... They're one hundred and ninety nine dollars. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Um, and it's it's a lot better to me than having AirPods. I've never had AirPods, and I just don't like them because if you lose an AirPod, it ain't like you can go and say, "Hey, I need to go pick up this left ear real fast from the Apple Store." You got to buy a whole nother set. Then if you lose it, say like I'm, and I'm sure you can find your AirPod. Um, I don't doubt that. However, what I do doubt is if you find them and you be able to actually get them back without having to whoop somebody's ass again. Language, but I mean, like I said, being able to hear strings and horns over here, you know, strings and horns. Being able to hear seagulls and children in the back. Being able to know that there is a Walgreens or 7-Eleven and I need to bust this left or this right. My Bose frames are phenomenal. I wear them in uniform. I wear them during PT. I wear them during training events um, as a bus driver. I would wear them if any Bluetooth or smart device were able to be worn because like I said if normal we're driving I'm I don't miss a turn I I see it and I know it to be true and I continue on with my route um in my culinary you know field it helps me with everything because with my iPad and it being synced at this particular time if I'm listening to a cookbook and I'm not paying attention I'll know that this is the right measurement or the right ingredient because I'm listening to what my book is telling me. I don't have to literally and physically hold on to my phone every freaking time I want to to be knowledgeable on something or hold my phone when I'm trying to figure out where it is I need to be and how far I need to go and what time I need to be there in. Everything's voice activated. Everything syncs. I mean, it makes my life a lot easier, to be honest. So if I'm helping someone with the decision-making process when it comes to buying a pair of smart glasses, I say go with Bose. I would like to try other other brands of smart glasses because, I mean, hey, I'm all about the ease and functionality of being able to not, you know, have everything, you know, in my hand but being able to see and do with no other distractions because only then are you truly hands-free so um i hope that you take a couple of things out of my my product review and you decide that this is the best product for you um because in life it's always about being better to hear and to see things with you want to get a clear and concise understanding of what it is you are doing and going through as 
your day-to-day -day interaction goes. So with that being said, go out, buy you a pair of Bose frames, and get your life, honey. You know, the better to see and hear you with, my dear. So um, again, you guys have a very nice day. Stay blessed and prayed up. Um, goodbye.